first of all, sincere thanks to Vatikuti and Dr. Mahendra Bhandari for this program and for the opportunity. Uh, I'm here to present the status report from Sir Gangaram Hospital, but before I start, I would like to express my sincere thanks to my teacher, Professor N.P. Gupta. Uh, it was courtesy him and his uh, very um, kindness that in 2008 at uh, Institute, I started the robotic uh, program uh, on thymic surgery and did those 50, 55 cases which uh, Professor Dogra mentioned. Uh, the institute at Gangaram started in March when I moved from uh, institute to Gangaram and what I present today, we did our first case on 16th March 12 and uh, what I present is the status report of the 17 months. It's a presentation from uh, the whole team. Apart from the clinical work, we also envisaged uh, training as well as some kind of a technological innovation as one of our mission and uh, vision. Till now, not much has been done in this area, but definitely these are important areas that we wish to work on. Right in the beginning, following the model given by Dr. Bhandari, we envisage different divisions, uh, division of urology, where we have Dr. Ajay Sharma, Dr. Chadha, and his colleagues, thoracic surgery, myself and my colleague, Dr. Bilal, uh, minimal access in bariatric, where Dr. Bhatia, Dr. Um, Bindal and Dr. Kalhan are the uh, active participants. Gynecology, Dr. Chandra and Dr. Mamta, and Dr. Mala are here and Dr. Mamta is also there. Then very special program, which I think is the only one it's kind in the country, is the vascular surgery program, which we are very proud of. Then we also have now GI and colorectal work starting and endocrine, we uh, were uh, uh, we fortunate to have Dr. Somashekhar join us and help us start the program. The machine came on March 15th and we did our first case that is thymectomy on March 16th. In the first month we did uh, 30 robotic surgery but it's not the number. What was important was that we had five different specialties performing the surgeries within the first month itself. So we could reach our 100 cases in the first seven months. We reached 200 cases in the first year. And now that we are at 17 months age, we have just crossed 300 yesterday when we did our 302nd case, which, is the, which was an esophagectomy. Uh, as is the case everywhere, urology forms now the bulk of our disease, but the percentage share of urology uh, as the percentage of total cases is lesser than other centers, which is because of very active and very vibrant programs from other department also. Little different from other centers, it's not the prostatectomy, which is the number one, but rather radical nephrectomy, mainly for tumors, which is the uh, commonest volume, which is done by Dr. Ajay Sharma and Dr. Chadha and their colleagues. Then pyeloplasty, radical prostatectomy, and very good number of partial nephrectomies uh, which they are doing. Other than that, adrenalectomy and numerous other procedures, as you can see, these are all performed by the urology service, which is a very active service. We uh, are probably the largest volume as far as thoracic is concerned, where uh, my senior, now this work which I show here is from March 12 at Gangaram. The cases done at Institute are not part of this presentation. We have lobectomy, we have esophagectomy. The last one we did was last night and we have one posted for tomorrow. Other than that, we have a few other cases also. Now, this is something which is, I think, uh, very, very special and very, very unique. Dr. Bhatia is here, my colleague and his colleague, Dr. Bindal. Uh, we probably have the largest experience in the country in terms of uh, bariatric robotic surgery. Sleeve gastrectomy, they have been doing regularly. And this is something that Dr. Bhatia has been presenting. He's been invited to Taiwan, recently to Hong Kong. He's been to Dr. Julian Otis Center. And as a part of this work, one of his colleagues, Dr. Bindal, has just got a fellowship at Dr. Julian Otis Center. In fact, he has also made a video atlas, which probably he'll be reliving during the course of the day. So we have a very active, very vibrant bariatric program, which is uh, going places. Then something which is unique, probably the only uh, work of its kind in Asia, is the robotic aortic work, which uh, we were fortunate to be having a very active vascular program with Dr. Uh, initially Dr. Ajay Yadav 
and later on uh, surgeon commodore v s bedi who was chairman of r and r hospital vascular surgery joined gangaram now these two people are very active vascular surgeons and tying up with them as a team we have been able to do these cases we started during our second month itself after training with dr peter stedler at uh, uh, prague and i'm very proud to report that we've done these 12 aorto bifemoral cases independently after this workshop which we did uh, dr mala dr mamta dr chandra they are now very active initially this program was little slow to start but they persisted there were some problems and i'm very uh, happy to say that all these most of these cases which we are reporting here have actually been done in the last couple of months so now it's becoming a very active program initially confined to hysterectomy but i'm sure in near future we'll be moving to other areas as well so if you see urology does form the bulk but unlike what dr bhandari mentioned that overall worldwide about 70% work is urology so our share is little less but very proud to say that thoracic the unique one vascular and a very vibrant bariatric program and also a gynecology so it's something which is spread across various specialties just show you 10 10 seconds clippings of some of these videos this was a, a 8 by 10 cm thymoma that we did uh, we were not sure whether actually we'll be able to complete it robotically but we said that okay let's try and we'll see if we are able to perform exactly as we'll do at open surgery we'll proceed otherwise if there is any difficulty we'll immediately convert so we persisted and this was one occasion where the articulation offered by the robotic arm came in very handy and it was a huge tumor but the way the robotic arm went and actually hugged the tumor and helped us retract in various directions i don't think having done thoracoscopy for over 10 years i don't think this could have i i could have even attempted this thoracoscopically so this was one area where a lot of people ask what is the advantage of robotic so this was one example so we did another small thymoma i'll skip this videos to save time then this is an example of a bronchogenic cyst an example of a large dermoid cyst in the thymic area but to summarize then urology radical nephrectomy pyeloplasty prostatectomy partial nephrectomy so whole spectrum thymectomy esophagectomy lobectomy in thoracic sleep gastrectomy a very vibrant program hysterectomy picking up very fast now and very proud to report that aorto bifemoral procedure so this is the range that we have done at gangaram hospital and lastly i would wind up by quoting what my friend dr bhatia just told me to convey it does not matter how fast you run what matters is how far you run thank you very much